Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Tristan, back here with another video. And today, guys, I'm going to be playing um, a game that's not that popular. I mean, it kind of is. But today I'm going to play um, Cuphead because I haven't played that game in a really long time. So basically what Cuphead is, is it's a uh, game where you can, you, you have a choice of playing as Cuphead or Mugman, and you basically just like, do, like, you have to fight bosses and do running guns and stuff like that. So, alright, I'm not going to tell you guys my password. Alright, so that's my Steam login, and I'm about to go into Cuphead, so I guess we just wait. It's launching. Yep, see it says launching. So, now we just wait. And as you can see, it's loaded. Now I'm just, it's just running, so I still gotta get in. It's just running. So, one thing about Cuphead is it's, it, they try to make it like a 1930s game, except it's with color. So, yeah, that's it. So,. And bam, bam, Studio, and I'm playing this on my computer, so. <clears throat> price, pay the price. Alright, so I'm going to go into my game that I've played a lot of. And next Cuphead video I do, you guys should tell me in the comments who should I be, Cuphead or Mugman. I prefer being Cuphead, because he just looks cooler than Mugman, because Mugman has a big nose. And I have a lot of Cuphead stuff and, like, collectibles and stuff like that. So, that's the old timer. He's just, like, a loading thing. And as you can see, we're in. So... I thought for today, I might fight some bosses in, um, in Quile 3, so, because I know it's the hardest ones, but I play a lot of video games, so I thought why not do these ones. So I thought why not start with the Phantom Express, because this is one of my all time favorite bosses, so I might just do regular mode. Just to give you guys like an example of how you do it. So, as you can see, I'm going in right now. It's a ghost dude. I forget what his name is. If you guys know, please tell me in the comments. That's called a supercharge attack. So if you play Cuphead and you see that meter at the bottom of your screen, you see that's full, then you can launch out a secret attack. And I'm also using a parry mode, so I don't die very quickly because... Alright, so that's the first boss defeated, the first portion of it. And then we encounter a skeleton. A skeleton conductor. So the skeleton's pretty easy. I mean, there's nothing really to him. Um... 
use my attack on him. Always make sure you're under where his head is because he can't attack you then. So as you can see, I've defeated the skeleton. And then I think we encountered two people, these guys. So you gotta kill one and then the other. And this game is not really that scary, but kind of scary. What? Oh no, I died. Sorry, this train is only for the dead, but we can help you with that. So I was originally trying to plan to beat this boss first try, but... As you can see, I failed. Wow, that was fast. So you have to feed the skeleton again. Sorry I wasn't talking, I was being focused. So, as you can see, you guys have saw this. And I think after this, there's only one more stage part to this, and then... just got melted off. So, as you can see, I'm trying to melt this one, which sounds kind of wrong. Well, I did. And the next part of the train is the head of the train is actually alive. And all you gotta aim for right here is the box. But there's, it's not all that. You have to parry his tail. Plus, try not to get hit by fireballs, like what I just did. So, as you can see, I didn't succeed on that one. So, I might try a different boss, and then I might have to, you know, start wrapping this video up. So, there is a boss that I can actually defeat. It's actually a her. I might equip the double heart for this, but it's Cala Maria, which is like a, a mermaid name kind of thing. So we just gotta wait for this to load. And yeah, there's different things in Cuphead. You can either have a boss where you use your attacks, or you fight in planes. And she's strangling the fish, so I kind of feel bad for the fish in this situation. But her first few stages aren't that hard. Oh, I hate this weird seahorse. Oh yeah, her first stage, she'll shoot pirates at you. Like, ghost pirates. And then, like... Then she has, like, a turtle that comes out of the water. Oh, my super attack is ready. And that actually does a lot of damage. That's what the super attack is made for. And then I think her second stage, she sends eels. Yep, see, look, eels electrify her. And now she's a Medusa. And when she traps you in the cobblestone, if you hit your buttons really fast and go to the left of your screen, her petrick. 
it won't affect you that bad, the petrification, because you're at the left of the screen, so you can easily break out. So now she's ahead. Oh yeah, one more thing. In this one, make sure you avoid all the attacks. Oh no, please. Alright. My nice super attack. Bow! Knockout! So guys, I actually defeated this boss. So, I defeated the boss, as you can see. And it shows a little victory. So it says it took me 1 minute and 49 seconds to defeat this boss. And my... I got a B. It's a brand new record. So then... I defeated it. So guys, I might end the video here. But if you did like, please like and subscribe and turn on notifications. Actually, I'll do one more boss for you because I'm nice. Yep, got the right attacks. Captain Briny Beard. I'll try this once. <laughs> so, Captain Briny Beard is a pirate. And honestly, I thought this should have been in Quiet Isle 1 boss. This boss is ridiculously easy. And doesn't have that much attacks. Oh, and then when he whistles and that makes that noise, catfish come. And I'd suggest using the follow if you want to deal a lot of damage. It's attack. attack. Oh, the squid's coming. Yep. So if it does make you hit the treasure chest, just in, I'm going to inform you, the treasure chest is nothing. All it does is try and slam you. Like, you can't defeat it. Oh, and you saw in the background that fin? That was a shark. So now, eventually, when you get more into the fight, the boat will start actually shooting cannonballs at it with its mouth. Now you gotta avoid Captain Briny Bear, plus the boss in the back, plus the pirate ship, plus the chest that's on top trying to hit you. Once this happens, he evolves into this big thing, and then the ubula starts throwing fire at you. And when this happens, you gotta crouch. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Guys, I was right there. I'm so sorry. Well, if you guys... I'm sorry I didn't do it on a bad note. But if you did like the video, please like and subscribe. Turn on my notifications. And make sure you comment in the comments if I should do more stuff like this. So, with that, bye guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.